Hi, and welcome back to the next episode of the DOS Back in Time series. Let's kick off with our first game called Alley Cat. This game was designed by Bill Williams and was released to the 8-bit Atari in 1983. With the help of IBM, it was later released to the PC in 1984. The goal of the game is to find love. You can do that by completing a level, but first you have to enter one, by entering one of these windows. Once entered, like you are here right now, you can have five different types of challenges. The faster you can complete the level, the more points you'll score. After finishing a challenge, you have the special level where you have to reach the top, to get to your girlfriend cat. The level increases and so you can play on and on and on. Oops, watch the dog. Okay, this next one is called Bouncing Babies. This is a game where the main aim is to try and save babies that are jumping out of a burning building. To do this you control two firemen that have a trampoline, which they use to bounce babies into an ambulance. There are many elements at work to make you want to give up, such as the music that plays when you bounce babies. It's like a siren of an ambulance, it's very annoying. Or the challenging gameplay. It's very hard to play this game. The graphics, they look bad or outdated, but don't be fooled by that, because this game will test your reflexes, as it's extremely challenging and even getting past level 3 is a massive accomplishment. Castle Adventure. This is a well-known classic to the retro community. The first thing that is 
extraordinary about this game is the fact that it uses ASCII to draw something on the screen instead of using graphics. So it actually uses characters on the screen to build up this massive maze that you are dropped into. To me it's not really an adventure game like the genre but more of a puzzle slash find your way out of here kind of game. Welcome to Karateka. This is a beat em up video game by Jordan Mechner. Doesn't ring a bell? Well, this is the guy who has not created Prince of Persia. It was originally programmed for the Apple II and was later ported to several other home computers and early gaming consoles. As you can see, it has very realistic animations used for the game's characters something that will be the basis for the later upcoming franchise Prince of Persia. This next one, Sokoban. It's a Chinese or Japanese for warehouse keeper. It's a mind breaking puzzle game. So, this game is played on a board of squares. So, each square is a floor or a wall. And some floor squares they contain boxes, and some floor squares are marked as storage locations. So the player is confined to the board and may move horizontally or vertically onto empty squares, never through walls or boxes. The player can also move into a box, which he then pushes into the square beyond. Boxes may not be pushed into other boxes or walls and they cannot be pulled. The puzzle is solved when all boxes are at storage locations. Thank you. 
This last game had to be in this video of course, it is the great epic King's Quest 1, Quest for the Crown. The story was written by Roberta Williams, which is very known for the King's Quest series and other future products. So this game was released in 1983 by IBM as a demonstration product for their IBM PC Junior. King's Quest was the first Shara Entertainment game to use the adventure game interpreter, also called the AGI. So with AGI, Shara could create worlds. You could control your character for the first time and interact with the environment and other characters by typing in commands. Please enjoy the rest of this video and I will see you next time. Bye!